Welcome to Lift It Live, where we give you a guided tour of San Diego's hottest homes for sale. Today, we are with Miguel Nunez. Welcome back. Thank you very much. Always love having here. you on the show. Oh, well, I love it here. You're I so fun. Here. <laughs> Miguel, this is a really cool condo. Tell us about it. Well, okay, as, as typical with us, this is a trust sale. This condo, it's a two bedroom, two bath condo in a very tiny little building. Now, the key here is that this building is right across from Belmont Park. Mm. It's located right on Mission Bay uh, Boulevard, so the location is just to die for. Yeah. It's an older building, uh, as you see, it does have an elevator. It's on the third floor, so you don't have any neighbors walking. You won't hear any noise okay. above you. Uh, not a whole lot of neighbors. It's just, it's good. It's a nice little community. It's been there. Some of the people have been there for a while. Some of the units are being rented right now, Airbnb, because again, it just makes a lot of sense right. for somebody to come in, rent here, and then enjoy you know, being you're in three minutes to the beach. Uh, this condo was ab abandoned you know, through family mm -hmm. dynamics mm -hmm. for about five years. So it was not even lived in. Uh, it's like uh, the time stopped, and you can see the, the decor is yeah. kind of the 80s decor. It's in good shape. But, you know, it could use an updated or somebody just come and clean it up and, mm -hmm. and uh, put some accessories and make it into an Airbnb, you yeah. know, cash cow there. It is, uh, you know, of course, it need, does need new, new carpeting. Some windows need to be updated as well. But uh, the, the views that, of course, you can't see here is on the op opposite side of the, of the bay. So you can't say that this is a really a view uh, condo. Thus, that is why the price, we had it at, actually at $895. We're making a significant adjustment mm -hmm. in price right now, at least about $50,000 less. Mm -hmm. uh, so what I tell people, tell us what you think this condo is worth. Mm -hmm. Tell us how much you think you need to put into it to, to bring it up to, to uh, current standards mm -hmm. for an Airbnb and submit an offer. You know, there's yeah. no emotions. There's no, uh, unfortunately, the sellers have passed away. So it's a very practical transaction that we do. Well, I don't mind that because you can really turn this condo into your own, whether it's to rent it in an Airbnb, like you said, or to live in it and just have that access to the beach, somebody that wants that lifestyle. Oh yeah, I mean, I mean we all do. You see, there's <laughs> a, there are a lot of people who live inland, who bought when, you know, when downtown was developing, who bought, who had a house in Red Santa Fe or somewhere else and bought a condo downtown that was their beach or their, uh, their uh, beach condo, so mm -hmm. to speak. This is perfectly that. It's just a pit de terre where you can just crash there. And, and, and again, you cross the street into Belmont Park. It right. does have also, which is rare, it does have a dedicated enclosed garage space. Yeah. So it's, it's a garage with two spaces, mm -hmm. but you share it with another unit. And it's kind of becoming necessary in this location to have a garage space because it does fill up pretty quickly on the weekends. Yeah. Now, the, the interesting thing is that if I were to buy this one as an investment or some, that, that garage could be used to put all your toys. Again, you're less than a block away from the ocean. You could have your, your, uh, your kayaks or surfboards there because you're right across from the park. And there's a, a ton of parking uh, in Belmont Park and, and the side that faces the, the bay also. So there's a ton of parking all over the place. Uh, you could really use that garage for something else. And ultimately, <laughs> Even though it needs some updating, it's it's livable. You can move in and, oh, re and renovate over time if it was something you wanted to occupy. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. And somebody who wants to, you know, you buy it, you live in it, uh, you move out, you do some little fixes, you rent it for a couple months. Uh, again, the location is what's make what makes it completely uh, right. a good good investment. And on site laundry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is the this garage. Is the garage. You know, the, of course, uh, after five years of being vacant, the neighbor has been creeping over, uh, yeah. taking over the left side. Mm -hmm. But that's how it sets. I mean, you could set, you could build uh, some uh, some storage units right. in the back. Uh, there's a lot of uh, possibilities here. This yeah. is a really cool condo, and I feel like if anybody is, you know, questioning whether or not they should buy like an Airbnb, an investment, or a condo with an affordable price range, <laughs> you said you're open to any offers Absolutely, that people are willing yeah. to make. Yeah. Um, do you have open houses coming up on this? Uh, right now, so one of the things that happens here with the rains, there was a little bit of a, of a leak, so the HOA jumped immediately on it, so we have a oh, hole in it. the ceiling, they're fixing it, uh, so we're not going to have it this week, but next week we'll be back uh, ready to show you. Good point that the HOA is on it. Yes. So they don't have to worry if they're already jumped on it after a weekend, yes, that means yes. the HOA really cares and, about the residents. And not only that, but they've discovered that there are other spots in other units, so they're going to have at one point to put in a new roof. 
So that's that's good. Awesome. Well, Miguel, thank you for bringing this at 2999 Mission Boulevard, number 302, two bedroom, two bath, just under 800 square feet at a really good price, and they're open to all offers. If anyone's interested, reach out to Miguel or show up to the open house. That's it. Thanks for being here. You're welcome.